Hello everyone, how are you doing? Um, welcome to today's episode of the Axila Show. So, after my last episode, some had questions about uh, what I shared as to concerning your strength uh, as a business owner, focusing on your strength as a business owner. So, I'm just going to take a few questions. I think um, I wrote these ones down. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't get the name, but uh, first, how do you know your strength? Yeah, that's that's the question this person is asking. So, <sighs> how do you know your strength? It's easy. Something you are passionate about, something that you are trained to do. For example, I'm passionate about teaching. I'm trained to be a teacher. I read education in school. So, it's easy for me to teach and uh, sell through teaching all right i just finished preparing um, a long slide for an online class it's something that i can do even though it just wake me up from sleep so basically it's something that comes easy to you if you know how to analyze numbers um, if you are good at math if you are good with editing if you are good with reading proofreading you know things like that somehow some way you're going to find that there is certain things that others find difficult doing that you do easily basically that's just your strength all right so dwell on that build a business around that or use that as a strategy to sell your own business or your product or your service whatever it is that you're selling all right um, the second question is methodology for business system this is um, how, how do we develop methodology for business system well um i think i mentioned it in one of the episodes i'm not sure but one of the things is every business has a system every business has a culture every business has a process so for you you are going to determine what works best for you there's no one size fit all every business is dynamic in itself so take for instance i cannot structure my business like a fashion business because i am not selling fashion items uh, i can't structure a fashion business cannot structure like um you know makeup business uh, cake business or catering or you know legal services and things like that so uh, but understand that every business has a system so when i contact your business what is the first thing for me to do what is the next thing for me to do after that so take for instance on our platform the first thing is you visit the website you sign up your sign up or membership request gets approved and then you change your password and then you start contributing uh you know move on from there then you can apply for a loan you can get a loan you can make repayment you can pay with card you can pay from your bank and things like that so those are the processes for our own business now what are you selling if you are selling a car for example or you are doing car rentals for example somebody comes to your car shop the first thing is for the person to go check the car out test the car engine maybe go for a test drive and then you come back and discuss pricing sign contracts exchange papers you know so what the point is every business does not have or all businesses do not have the same uh, exact methods so you would be in best position to determine what method suits your business uh, the most final question here is um, how do i find my footing in business Um, the only way to find your footing in business is to practice Uh, none of us came with this from heaven you know we we do not just fall down from heaven and start doing this we kept practicing one of the things i have learned by experience is that every business goes through a phase a business or an entrepreneur thought leader whatever you are you are more like a butterfly so 
there is always a metamorphosis from one phase to the other you are definitely going to fail don't take failure as a bad thing take it as a feedback you just learned how not to do it right okay so move from you know one stage to the other taking lessons and correcting it as you go if it means correcting your policies if it means working on your products if it means um, improving your service delivery if it means improving your customer service all of those things are the things you should learn as you go from one stage to another and that way you are going to find your footing secondly uh, ask for testimonials people love referrals they want to know who have done this before um, who you have helped before who you have worked with before what are the results you have to show so track record testimonials uh, if you do design for example have like a catalog of designs you've done before these are the things i've done before so it helps you gain more footing in your industry or your niche as the time goes on okay um, if it has to do with um, you know whatever kind of business i'm just trying to figure out what business so i don't like restrict it to uh, my own kind of business consultancy strategy everything has its own principles and how you find your footing then um, thirdly build a personal brand you know people don't play on this a lot i wrote about it on my pages one of the things uh, that would sell the business of today is your personal brand you do not keep what you know to yourself just like i'm sharing with you now you should share knowledge to some extent i'm not saying give out your trade secrets but you should share knowledge to some extent um you know with your audience with people that you meet in conferences so gradually as you are building that personal brand it directs or redirects them to your business so it's as though your personal brand is now referring people to your business by the time they say who is this guy for example after watching this video if you've never heard of me before if you don't know me before at the end of the day you want to go and check who this guy is um, that will probably lead you to links stuff that i've done before articles i've written and i've featured in and things like that by that time before you know redirects you to my business which is the main aim of doing all of this i want to sell that is the truth so whatever you do if you follow these three steps and you know i believe um, your business is going to get better it's going to grow faster and you're going to make more money yeah that's the goal make more money so this is the axila show if you have questions you know suggestions and things you can make in the comment section or send us an email uh ax at ozoyasilas.com and we'll get back to you put out your questions just like this now finally before i go i know some of you have seen this before this is my new book 5x income and business growth strategy so um it's selling hot 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 if you've not gotten your copy you should get it it's just five thousand naira. the link is in the description in the comment section just place your order and we'll get it it's free shipping within nigeria if you're outside nigeria well we can make an arrangement for uh shipping to whatever country you are in so free shipping within nigeria is five thousand tell your friends tell your neighbors tell your enemies Tell your pastor, tell your imam, tell everybody that this book is the secret to their income and business growth. See you next time. Bye-bye.